If you want to start a YouTube channel but feel overwhelmed with the planning, scripting, titles, thumbnails, shooting, editing, and everything else involved, this video will change everything for you. You're going to learn 10 beginner-friendly AI strategies that we've personally used to grow our channel to over 400,000 subscribers while working faster and more efficiently than ever. Not to mention, with these AI strategies, you're going to have a lot more fun creating content. Let's dive in. Okay, so we're gonna be using a handful of AI tools throughout this video. Many of them can be accessed for free, like ChatGPT. Others will be ultra affordable, like a few pennies to create a professional channel banner. Either way, just know that I've made an effort to keep expenses as low as humanly possible while still getting access to the best tools. Along with that, I've made a downloadable prompt guide where you can copy and paste all of the same prompts I use throughout this video. It's free and I'll talk more about that at the end once you see how it all works. We've got 10 strategies to cover and up first we have AI title planning. If you didn't know, the title and thumbnail of your video are the gateway to success on this platform. If you want to succeed, you need to convince strangers who have no idea who you are to click on your video and the only tools you have to influence the click are the title and the thumbnail. The keys with titles and thumbnails all center around one phrase generate curiosity. And thankfully for us, AI is really good at coming up with curiosity inducing title ideas. It's also great at making thumbnails, but we'll touch on that later on in this video. So here's an exercise I recommend you do. Go to ChatGPT and start a new thread. Write two to three sentences explaining the YouTube channel you already have or the channel you plan on starting. For example, I would write, I run a YouTube channel called Content Creators where we help beginners learn to shoot, edit, and grow their brand with professional content. We tend to focus on smartphone content creation tips, gear reviews, editing tutorials, and other beginner guides. Now this is optional, but I do suggest it. List off some channels you aspire to be like and some popular titles from their channels. If you do have videos on your own channel, list your top three performing titles. Finally, now that we've given ChatGPT the context, we can end with, please list out 20 curiosity-driven title ideas for videos on my channel. Just like that, ChatGPT will spit out a long list of ideas. They won't all be perfect, but some will be really good, and it's these that we want to focus on and go deeper with. I'll typically focus on one to two of these titles and ask ChatGPT to give me five to ten variations of this one title. You'd be amazed how many ideas start to flow in your head when you see all these variations of one to two really powerful titles. And from here, we can really get granular and see which ones speak to us the most. Now, right away, this takes so much pressure off of us as creators. Nothing is worse than staring at a blank sheet of paper, struggling to come up with ideas. AI can bring you all the way to the finish line if you want, but more so for me, this exercise is really helpful for just getting those gears turning. And some of our best performing videos on this channel have come straight from this exercise. Now, one other really powerful title strategy, especially for you podcasters or other people who basically film the episode and then come up with your title, you can take the script or transcript of the video, copy and paste it into ChatGPT and have it analyze the script and list off curiosity driven title ideas. So as a real life example, we just started a brand new channel called the Content Creator Podcast. And in one of our recent episodes, I tried this. Most people name their podcast episodes with a number and then the name of their guest, which does not inspire curiosity from strangers, especially if they don't know who that guest is. By simply analyzing the transcript of our podcast, conversation, AI was able to come up with this title that is easily 100 times more curiosity driven than a simple episode number and guest name. And despite this being only the third video posted on a brand new account, we were able to get over 10,000 views and 1,500 watch hours in the first week of this video being posted. Not bad, and it's all thanks to the title and thumbnail being able to convince strangers to click. And of course, the podcast episode was really great. Definitely check that out. I'll link it in the description below. Now we'll touch on creating thumbnails with AI in just a second, but first we have a quick title tip coming in at AI strategy number two. AI title search engine optimization. Before I ever post on YouTube, no matter what the title is that I've decided on, I always paste my title into ChatGPT and type the following prompt. Can you analyze the title below and suggest edits to improve the SEO slash searchability? Especially for beginners, if you can improve the searchability of your title, you give yourself significantly more opportunity to be discovered by new audiences. 
I've found that ChatGPT, armed with the additional channel context I provided earlier, is really good at making small tweaks that improve searchability like crazy. Okay, now on to the big one. Strategy number three, AI thumbnail creation. If there is one thing that has made my life as a YouTuber easier, it is this. Thumbnails are vital to success. So vital, it's honestly stressful creating them knowing that they can make or break the success of a video all by themselves. So thumbnails come down to two things the thumbnail idea, and then the execution of that idea. The good news is AI can help with both of these things. Let's start with the idea. If you fully scripted your video, take the script and the title and copy it into ChatGPT, use the following prompt. Please analyze the title and video script below and suggest 10 curiosity-driven thumbnail ideas for my upcoming YouTube video. Now let's use the podcast example from earlier. I used that same prompt I just outlined and posted the full podcast transcript into ChatGPT. I got a good handful of thumbnail ideas, but decided on this one. An image of Jana taking a selfie at the top of a mountain with a beautiful sunset behind her. Jana is in the left side of the frame, leaving space on the right side where you can include a Stripe or PayPal notification showing a $10,000 deposit. Underneath the deposit is text that reads, paid to travel. I love this idea, but I was stuck how do I get an image of Jana taking a selfie at the top of a mountain? I can't go and take this photo myself. She lives in a different country. So I used one of my favorite AI strategies. I created a digital clone of Jana using an AI tool on fall.ai, which is basically an online AI marketplace that allows you to use tons of different popular AI tools without needing a subscription. Instead, you just purchase credits and you use them however you see fit and it's crazy affordable, like pennies to create an image. Using the Flux LoRa Portrait Trainer tool on Fall AI, I simply uploaded a handful of images of Jana to create the digital clone. And just like that, I now have the ability to simply type in text and create the images I need. Boom, just like that, we have a cinematic professional looking image that aligns perfectly with the AI generated thumbnail idea. From here, we're gonna use another awesome tool on fall.ai, Ideogram V3, which is great at making more complex graphics. I typed in a basic prompt depicting the Stripe payment notification graphic and boom, we get this right here. All we need to do now is use a free tool like Canva to combine the image and the graphic and type in the text paid to travel and we are done. Professional thumbnail and it only took a few minutes to create. Not only that, the image of Jana and the graphic costs less than 10 cents worth of credits to create. No subscriptions required. It's so freaking epic. The applications of this workflow are out of this world. Most beginners simply take a screenshot from their video to use as a thumbnail. This is bad and lazy, don't do this. For more experienced YouTubers, they usually have to get props, they set up lights, they travel somewhere, they take a hundred photos hoping one was good, and then they use expensive tools like Photoshop to create the final product. It could honestly take a full day to create a thumbnail, if not more. And with all that, you're still forced to work within the realm of what's possible and what's not. If you need a photo of yourself swimming with sharks, boom, AI has you covered. Did you forget to snap a thumbnail photo when you were on that first class plane ride? No need to book another flight, AI has you covered. AI can even help you travel to outer space or become a superhero. AI can even help me to remind you to hit that subscribe button if you're finding this valuable. But I digress. Let's keep moving on here with strategy number four, AI channel graphics. This one's nice and easy since we already talked about this tool. Ideogram V3 is really good at making graphics. All you need is an idea and Ideogram will make it stunning. Now, if you don't have an idea, I'd suggest resorting back to ChatGPT. Can you help me write an AI prompt for a channel banner graphic for my YouTube channel, Content Creators? Boom, copy that from ChatGPT and paste it into Ideogram. I'm not even gonna look at it. The only thing I'll change in the advanced settings of Ideogram is the aspect ratio. We'll choose custom and then drop 2,560 by 1,440 in there as that's the preferred ratio for YouTube channel banners. We'll hit run and for less than 10 cents, we've got an epic channel banner that will make our channel look way more professional. Heck, you can run this a few more times just for the fun of it. I mean, these are just crazy if you ask me. And you can use this tool for so many different things, by the way. Logos, website banners, graphics for videos, graphics for PDF guides, eBooks, the list goes on. It's a crazy valuable tool. Moving on though, AI strategy number five is content script writing. Now this is a topic that we could spend hours talking about. 
In fact, we have a whole series in our AI creator course on scripting like a pro with AI. But here is a super quick tip that will save you hours per week. Once you have your video title and idea, write a brief outline of the video. For example, let's say you're making an Italy travel guide video. Rather than writing it all out word for word, just write an outline with your top destinations, the best attractions, and any other keys you know you want to talk about. Take that outline, paste it into ChatGPT, and use the following prompt. Analyze my outline below and expand upon it to write a word for word teleprompter ready script for a 10 minute long YouTube video. Hit enter and boom, just like that, AI has done a significant amount of the legwork for you. Will this be perfect? No, probably not, but it's much easier to look at something that's already been written and put in the effort to bring it to 100% compared to writing it all from scratch yourself. Now, personally, I like writing my own scripts, but one thing I always do, no matter what, is AI strategy number six, script enhancement. Anytime I write content, I copy and paste it into ChatGPT with the following prompt. Analyze the script pasted below and check for the following factual inaccuracies, sections that don't make sense to beginners, and sections that could be boring or redundant. Highlight these sections, explain what the issue is, and suggest how to improve it. You would be amazed how much better your content will perform once you start doing this. AI is unbiased and it will help you spot areas where you are losing viewership. By doing this to improve your script, you're essentially making your content more watchable. In other words, the viewer will be more likely to watch all the way to the end. And this is super important to success on YouTube. If you've ever wanted your content to get recommended to larger audiences, you want to focus on the stat average view duration. The longer your AVD is, the more likely the algorithm will recommend your content. On top of that, it can save you from making embarrassing mistakes in your content. For example, I make pretty technical camera recommendation videos, and it's easy to get one small technical detail wrong here and there. ChatGPT has saved me many times from commenters who love to call out mistakes in videos. Now use this same prompt on everything you write, not just long form YouTube videos. You can do short form content, email blasts and newsletters, content on your site, ad copy, all of it. Now up next at number seven, we've got one of the coolest AI strategies out there, AI B-roll generation. Now we all know that videos need B-roll in order to be engaging. Imagine if this entire video was just me talking to the camera, no B-roll, no graphics, nothing. Many people would get bored and leave, which lowers average view duration and therefore keeps my videos from getting recommended to larger audiences. Instead of using boring stock footage that everyone has seen a million times, you can use AI to create cinematic B-roll that is relevant to your content. For this, we're going to head back to fall.ai. Now there are tons of tools you can use to generate amazing B-roll, but for now I'm going to stick to my favorite, which is Kling AI. Their text to video tools are incredibly powerful and like always on Fall AI's marketplace, I don't need a subscription, I just pay per use and it's not that expensive. In this example, I have a prompt outlining a man walking down a sidewalk that is underwater. Behind him are plants and fish and there are crabs on the sidewalk and light rays shine through the water. And I mean, just look at this. Imagine creating a clip like this two to three years ago. You would need a Hollywood level budget and insane visual effects skills. Every clip you're seeing on screen right now was created entirely with AI. In fact, some of the B-roll in this video was created by AI and you probably didn't realize it. Now you might be wondering, how do you create AI B-roll of yourself? And it's pretty simple, honestly. Remember that thumbnail tool we talked about earlier, the one that can digitally clone you? While using that, I can create AI images of myself and then I can use these images in Kling's image to video tool and boom, what was once an image is now a video. I can swim with sharks, I can fly as a superhero, it's all possible and getting creative with these tools will help you make your videos more engaging and more watchable. We have students who make entire short films with nothing but these AI video generation tools and they are incredible. Up next at number eight, we have AI video editing. We'll actually batch a few different tools together here. So unfortunately for you and me, there isn't one AI tool that in the blink of an eye will edit a full YouTube video from start to finish. So far, anything that's claimed to do that has been a total gimmick and not worth it. However, there are really powerful AI tools that help with part of the editing process. 
For example, Adobe has the Enhanced Speech tool, which does an incredible job of improving the quality of your audio. If you're using a bad microphone or you just filmed outside in a noisy environment, you can extract the audio from your video, upload it to this tool, and the results will blow your mind. I'll play a before and after example now. So this right here would be an example of audio that I wouldn't use in a video. We're outside, it's windy, there's a highway nearby. It's just got a lot of noise pollution and I'm not happy with it. After that, we have auto pause removal. Premiere Pro, DaVinci, CapCut, and most editing programs can now analyze your talking head videos and automatically cut out the pauses and other filler words, which saves a ton of time while editing. And if you edit multi-cam podcast episodes, DaVinci Resolve can even automatically cut back and forth between each speaker for you, which saves a ton of time. And Premiere Pro can do this too using a third-party plugin called AutoPod. And then finally, as a bonus here in the editing section, it's not technically for YouTube, but there are really powerful short-form editing tools like Submagic that do a really good job of taking long-form YouTube videos and podcasts and converting them into fully edited vertical reels and TikTok videos. This is about as close as I've ever seen to truly hands-off editing. I imagine very soon this will also apply to YouTube videos, but it's not there yet. Now, we aren't sponsored by Submagic or any of the other tools that I mentioned in this video, but I will have links to all of them in the description below if you want to explore them more. Up next at number nine, and this one is huge for people who really want to grow an audience and business long term, AI newsletter blasts. So anytime I post a new YouTube video, I send out a newsletter to our audience with the call to action to go and watch the video. This helps boost initial views, which in turn helps the YouTube video perform better with the algorithm. I used to write out all these emails manually, which added just another step to the whole YouTube posting process. But now I just take the video script or the transcript if it's a podcast episode. I upload that to ChatGPT and I ask it to write out an email giving readers a taste of what's in the video with a call to action to actually watch it on YouTube. It's great, saved me a ton of time and the emails get tons of clicks. Now you might be wondering, Anthony, how do I grow an email list as a YouTuber? Well, great question. And that leads us to our final AI strategy, number 10, AI freebies. As often as I can, I like to create downloadable freebies for our viewers. This makes our content even more valuable to our audience because we're giving away more for free. And it also serves as a way to grow our email list because in order to download the freebie, people need to type in their email address. Whether it's a PDF guide, an ebook, a template pack, or anything else, using these same strategies we've talked through today, AI can help you come up with the idea and create the actual freebie. For example, at the beginning of this video, I mentioned I had a downloadable file with all of the prompt templates I used throughout the video. To create this freebie, I simply copy and pasted this entire video script into ChatGPT and I told it to pull out all the prompts I used and organize those into a nice spreadsheet for all of you to download. And if you want that freebie, there is a link where you can access it in the description beneath this video. It all comes full circle. Now, hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, please hit that subscribe button. And on top of that, I'd highly recommend checking out our full AI creator course. This program goes way deeper than we ever could in a single YouTube video or even a series of YouTube YouTube videos. You'll learn how to use AI for long form YouTube content, short form content, creating websites, growing email lists, creating digital products, writing profitable ads, and so much more. We tell you exactly which AI tools to use. We show you how to access them without racking up a mountain of subscription fees. And following along with our in-depth step-by-step tutorials, you can copy our exact prompts. Plus, you get lifetime access to our students-only community, our weekly live calls, and so much more. The course is constantly being updated with with the latest and greatest AI tools and strategies so you'll never get left behind. And best of all, the course is currently on sale and backed by a full no questions asked refund guarantee. So if you wanna learn more and enroll, there is a link to do so in the description below. Other than that, thanks so much for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.